press the bell icon and never miss an update from ET Auto. Hello and welcome to ET Auto Big Byte, a show that brings top executives from automotive industry. I am Nabil A. Khan and I have here with me Mr. Rajan Vadera, President Mahindra and Mahindra Automotive Division. Welcome to ET Auto Big Byte, sir. Today you have Thank unveiled you. five products in ICV segment. This is one of the fastest growing segment. What is your agenda for commercial vehicle going forward? You are going to be profitable this year, that's what you have said. What is the view? You have said that 21 products you are going to launch in next one or one and a half years. So just to correct you, uh, in the automotive sector, we have automotive division and we have the truck and the bus division. So as automotive sector, we are number two in the commercial vehicle. We are very strong number one in the small commercial vehicle range. Mm. And then we try to develop the HCV trucks range. Mm. Uh, way back, uh, we launched it in 2011. Mm. And then, of course, uh, we had uh, another um, fresh version of the heavy commercial vehicle, which was branded as Blazo, uh, the most fuel efficient uh, truck, uh, which uh, in the last uh, three years, we have uh, doubled our market share based on some very good value proposition that the product offers to its users. So having done that, when we look at our complete range of the commercial vehicle, uh, we were not present in uh, uh, this uh, 7 to 16, 16 ton range, ton. which is the ICV and the MCV range. Uh, we are there in LCV, where we are number 3, small commercial vehicle, we are number 1. MCV and HCV, uh, we were number 4. So all over, if you look at end to end, we are number 2. So you are trying to be from... Now, we are trying to get into the ICV range. Uh, in the ICV range... Uh, Four years back, we started work on it. We committed, as you know, 600 crores for developing this platform, uh, which is very modular. There are three cabins, four engines, uh, two gear boxes, which will develop uh, 11 ton, 12 ton, 13 ton, 14 ton, heavy duty, 16 ton, 15 ton, and also on the lower side, 7 ton vehicles. Uh, today, you saw 11, 12, 13 and 14 ton vehicles. Uh, by the end of the year, we will also launch 15 and 16 ton. And then next year, end of the first quarter, we will launch a 7 ton vehicle. With this, there is an industry of about 150,000 units. Uh, this space, we were not there earlier. So if we have to be a complete range player, which we should be, which we decided four years back, that's how we committed ourselves to the development of the entire ICV platform. So what uh, percentage of your total sales you expect to come from ICV segment which you are going to now get into? Like uh, So uh, six, it will 40. be um, a sizable one uh, because this, this uh, is about 150,000 market and uh, heavy commercial vehicle market the way it is growing also likely to be 200,000 plus 150,000 of this. And then uh, on the small commercial vehicle size, you, you know, market is very big. Another uh, close to 200,000 units uh, we sell there. Uh, so it becomes a very big market for us. So you have plans to launch CNG variants also. What kind of opportunity you see in that? In which variants? CNG variant also. CNG variant. So CNG is an essential requirement uh, in certain uh, markets. Uh, so but natural that uh, we have a CNG variant. It's more regulatory also and wherever CNG is available and it is regulated, therefore you have to have a CNG variant and which we already have. But this as talking of the ICV range, uh, this range is important for us because it is going to add to our numbers. It is going to add to our market share. It is also going to add to the profitability of our channel partners as well as the entire truck and bus division. You are focusing more on uh, commercial vehicle. We, uh, coming back to passenger vehicles, we have seen a lot of product launches happen in the last uh, two and a half years, three years. Uh, but uh, many of them did not see a very good response. Uh, what has been the reason? Have you done some kind of introspection, some kind of uh, thought process has gone into and what is going to be the next level of action for passenger I think it's vehicle? a continuous activity. Uh, product development is uh, 
is it's not necessary that everything you launch will be successful we have learned our lessons and those lessons uh, will be helpful going forward in the other launches uh, that we have uh, there are uh, some specific products for specific markets uh, i'm sure you're talking of i know what you're talking of kuv and tuv we have our successes there also but overall and yes market share the numbers it has not given us uh, but uh, in the new we are looking forward to our new launches to get those numbers so how many new launches you have planned so we have three year? launches planned uh, in the next uh, uh, i would say complete at the end of the year we would have launched three new uh, suvs and uh, an mpv that we are launching totally three products are coming okay we have seen that uh, your sangyong uh, you know uh, collaboration is not much reflecting in the indian market you have one product only uh you are probably bringing one more product so what is the future plan for that uh, segment there's a lot of competition so you need to have a larger offering uh in sure. that uh, space there sure. was a time when there were less uh, competition you did well but as the competition uh, started coming up uh, you know you lost your number one position in your utility vehicle so how sangyong is going to be helping you in that uh, so uh our one of the suvs that is coming is coming on a, a joint platform so it's a sangyong tivoli platform on which we will be launching our suv so that helps you if you share a platform your costs are on the lower side it's a fairly highly developed platform uh, well engineered working very well in sangyong so we have adopted that platform uh, in india uh, another uh, new platform that we are developing we are going to develop jointly so synergies will flow uh, one of the products that we will be launching uh, the, the g4 version uh, of the erstwhile rankster uh, is a completely new platform which will come from uh, sangyong and that will also be launched uh, in 2 to 3 months from now this uh, utility vehicle uh, some of them as you also mentioned that did not work out have you done some kind of deep diving and what went wrong and how are you going to correct that some claim that the pricing versus product was i'm not going to tell you in public i what all have you have learned <laughs> but still some of the point you think do you think i think pricing uh, was, uh, uh, i think everybody learns uh, and uh, it's not necessary that you are 100% successful with every launch world over nobody has uh, is successful with every product and i don't want to name there are uh, all kinds of oems who have not had 100% success i think we should have the humility of accepting and learning and plowing that information into new products so uh, let's so, wait and watch so when do we see mahindra again coming on the top uh, when it comes to utility vehicle see vehicles? there have been the many many new entrants obviously if new entrants come the those who are there already entrenched they will lose market share it's very obvious the definition of suv has changed we are largely frame based suvs so the new ones that are coming are coming with the monocoque mm -hmm. so the entire segment you can't really call it the real suv segment so the definition has changed and uh, i think we will also find our place in the market share so you are rubbing it in great great all the very best for you you uh, also talked about today commercial vehicle business becoming you know profitable from this year what has really helped you key strategy that turned the corner okay i think you? our key strategy has been focus on the product give a value in the commercial vehicle business customer is looking at value at the end of it it is a business for him therefore in his value proposition it has to make business sense for him and our uh, fuel efficiency makes sense for him we have uh, given guarantee around fuel efficiency so blazo has been well accepted uh, truck for its fuel efficiency consequent to which our numbers have doubled in the last one year we are growing in the blazo space in 3 years our market share has doubled so with the volumes coming in and if it's a good product you need not discount it and we have a fixed uh, price of uh, blazer consequently we have uh, uh, good uh, financials has exports also played a, uh, a key role in this uh, in terms of helping you uh, get 
profitable exports has been one of the key uh, no in the uh, mahindra truck and bus division for hcv we are exporting very little very little to nepal largely okay and how how do you look at going forward do you want to expand that further yeah, we are looking at expanding export with markets. icv coming up you look icv and uh, hcv also we are looking at some more markets we have seeded our uh, heavy commercial vehicle in those markets so how much you expect to export next from next year onwards I, i would not like to put a number but uh, i think uh, our numbers are growing so what kind of investment plan you have for uh, commercial vehicle and passenger vehicle commercial vehicle is on a roll but for passenger vehicle to beef up uh, the efforts to be number one again so what yeah, kind of investments uh, you are looking at uh, how we have already announced the investments uh, we have uh, there will be all new xuv all new scorpio all new thar so all new platforms will get typically 10 to 15 years you can run a platform after that time it is uh, required that you come with a new platform we have already committed ourselves to new platforms it, anybody commits themselves you cannot have the same product continue for more than a decade so we have already committed ourselves to new platforms in all our brands there's a lot of policy uh, change happening at the commercial vehicle side the recent uh, announcement of axle uh, load you know that they have increased it by 25 to 30% almost legalizing overweight if we talk about you know if they allow it on the existing products as well so how do you see this uh, so if they allow it on the existing one and uh, it happens uh, uh, i think there is a growth that is coming so the there is a load that is growing whether it is infrastructure whether it is all round economic development uh, so the load is going to grow and uh, it is anybody's guess uh, what happens to the growth rate uh, if it becomes a fully legal uh, and it's little too early to make any guess or make any announcement on the impact uh, i think it's it's just few days back only this has come uh, however if one has to start uh, making vehicles to the new load norms it takes time you know because load uh, is taken by tires there is a steering effort there is a braking effort if one has to design to the new norms it takes time and uh, right now i think everybody is very busy working on bs6 development so as uh, as sign body we have requested uh, the government that uh, if uh, the applicability of this for the new products could be put along with bs6 introduction okay that will be better so uh, right now the government has not given any clarity probably it is going to be on new vehicle or the older vehicles can also yes, have yes i think right now there so, is no, not much clarity that is moment. also uh, coming back to the overall industry performance last two months has been good uh, we have seen a strong double digit growth how do you look at uh, uh, the year financial year 18 19 Uh, for commercial vehicle passenger vehicle and overall auto industry i think the overall auto industry will grow commercial vehicle will grow faster than uh, passenger vehicle and uh, hcv is growing lcv is growing icv is growing small commercial vehicle industry is growing uh, i think the all round activity of uh, infrastructure development uh, other activity which is in general increase of the economic activity will definitely give a boost to commercial vehicle so can you put a number like earlier siam has projected 8 to 10% for passenger vehicle you, you think we will be able to surpass that passenger vehicle i think it will be around the same okay for commercial vehicle you, what is your commercial vehicle i think you're talking of a, a double digit growth 20% of the kind of the growth do you think that the uh, uh, in commercial vehicle a bit of growth has come from because of the postponement of uh, this new body building code that is happening across various states because people are buying in advance uh, in fear that the price may go up after that body building regulation comes up i think there is always an interplay of some of these things uh, but there could be various factors for growth uh, i think uh, this could be one of the reasons what you are saying but largely i think uh, it is the emission norms i think the bs6 norms when they'll come hmm. they'll That come with the increased price so people are trying to replace those who have a bs3 would not want to replace it with a bs6 it will be too expensive 
They are probably trying to replace it with the BS4. So that at the BS6, they are probably one emission behind, not two level of emission behind. So I think even that is driving uh, the growth. People want to change the BS3 trucks to BS4 trucks. So in next two, three years, we'll say, see probably slowdown in commercial vehicle. This uh, euphoria no, is for it's two, a, it's three it's a, it's a It's a function of the all-round business development in the country, the growth of the country, because um, commercial vehicles represent uh, the growth of the country. If the growth of the country is there, commercial vehicle will grow. So GST has been again revised and a lot of thing has, uh, GST has been reduced. Do you think it will bring further liquidity into the market and do you think it will aid to the automotive industry also? Yes, I think so. I think in some sectors where the, it has come down from 28 to 18%, it should help. If we look at the uh, overall industry, what kind of job creation and investment you see for this financial year FY18 and 19 in automotive industry? If there are pain points, what are those and see, what are the positive that you see? Uh, typically what happens is, uh, you know, last four or five years in the commercial vehicle space, uh, capacity has been idling. Uh, most of the commercial vehicle manufacturers were at 50 to 60 percent of the installed capacity. I think it's inching up, we are probably at levels of 80 to 90 percent of the installed capacity. And if the installed capacity is getting consistently used over the next six to eight months, a time will come where new investments will start kicking in for capacity expansions. In commercial vehicles. In commercial vehicles. If that happens, then definitely job creation will happen. Mm -hmm. What about the passenger and two-wheeler? Passenger two-wheeler is growing at constant eight to ten percent. So that will also uh, invite investments and there will be growth. There also there we have capacity utilization to the I think of uh, right now uh, capacity is almost uh, I think uh, 80 to 90 percent being used. Okay. Thank you so much for being so candid and uh, good at answering all the questions. Welcome to ETO to Thank you. Thank you very much.